welcome to my channel it's Linnell and today we're watching Hit Babe episode 5 and yeah I know I'm really behind if you guys didn't watch my dead friend forever reaction I explain what I have been going through basically this side of my face is a little I don't know if you can tell but it's it's not as swollen as it was um, a few days ago but it's still a little bit swollen I had a tooth pulled and it was hard you know I was going through the healing process and it's still kind of painful. I still have stitches in my mouth. And if I open my mouth wide enough, you guys can see it. So I'm gonna try not to open my mouth too wide, but yeah. Even before I got the tooth pulled, the tooth that I had to get pulled had broke. And it was just really annoying like to talk and stuff. That's why I took kind of a longish break from reacting. But to be honest, I haven't even been watching too much BL. I've been watching like TikTok stuff and I, the only like BL type show I've watched is um, uh, is it DMD Friendship, <laughs> which is that reality show by D Mundi. D Mundi. I don't know the company. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's that like cute reality show. That's really all I've been watching. I haven't even been watching any like reactions because I've just been like annoyed because I'm so behind on a lot of series, especially this series, Pit Babe. And I'm not gonna lie. I've kind of been spoiled a little bit but I'm not gonna let me being spoiled ruin it for me because I, I haven't been like spoiled to the point where I can't enjoy the series but I've kind of been spoiled <laughs> but that's okay because I'm still really interested in this series I don't remember what happened last episode I just remember babe like being upset at Charlie like he thought Charlie was cheating on him and he was really upset and that's all I remember <laughs> But yeah, let's get to Pit Babe episode 5. If you want to watch the full version without like the little thing I have to put over the video, that'll be on my Patreon, the full uncut version, along with the sign, the whisperer soon, um, Dead Friend Forever. Let's get to it. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and yeah, let's go. And I was wondering how Charlie yeah. made it there so quick. <laughs> like, where is the firefighters and the emergency ambulance? This is so unrealistic. <laughs> this is so silly. <laughs> like, there's no way. How did he make it there before the emergency rescue team? If I were the rescue team, I'd be like, okay, how? <laughs> like, Charlie, you're in the way. <laughs> He seemed fine. I mean, obviously he isn't fine, but it's like Charlie, let him, let Babe get help. Babe, 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 ผมชนขนาดนั้นไม่เจ็บกูบ้าแล้วปากดีแบบนี้กูค่อยสบายใจหน่อยพี่รันจบเลสใครเขาที่หนึ่งจะมีใครก็ไอ้คิมมาดิ
แล้วพี่จะทําให้มันยากทําไมอ่ะก็มันไม่ใช่ว่ามึงถอดเปลือกแล้วมึงจะเดินในปกติปะวะมึงยังทํากายภาพอีกเรากลัวว่ามึงน่าต้องพักยาวอ่ะตลอดซีซันเนี้ยฮะทั้งซีซันมึงบ้าเปล่ากูพักใครจะแข่งวะก็ไอเวไงมึงไม่ไว้ใจมันเหรอมันไม่ใช่ไม่ไว้ใจพี่คือทีมเรามีหนึ่งมันมีสองอ่ะไอเวมันจะรอดได้ไงอ่ะคือถ้ามีผมอ่ะผมจะพอประกบให้ไปได้อ่ะแล้วไอเวก็นําอ่ะผมว่าเกมเนี้ยเวิร์กกว่ากูว่ามึงอย่าเพิ่งมาห่วงเรื่องแข่งอะไรตอนนี้เลยยังไงร่างกายมึงก็สําคัญที่สุดถ้ามึงฝืนใช้ร่างกายตัวเองตอนที่ยังไม่พร้อมอ่ะมันจะยิ่งแย่กว่าเดิมนะเว้ย Isn't this series like 14 episodes, and it's at episode nine right now? คือถ้ามึงฝืนไปตอนนี้แล้วเกิดขามึงใช้ได้ไม่เหมือนเดิมมันทำไงวะมันไม่คุ้มกันหรอกซีซันหน้าเรียงมีไว้ว่องพักก่อนเถอะเชื่อกูยิ่งข้างมันคานว่ะเฮ้ยเฮ้ยกูว่ามึงพักผ่อนก่อนเถอะมึงเป็นอัลฟาไม่ใช่เหรอร่างกายมึงอาจจะฟื้นฟูเร็วกว่าคนอื่นก็ได้นะแล้วถ้ามึงดีขึ้นเมื่อไหร่อ่ะค่อยมาคุยเรื่องลงแข่งกับกูใหม่นะ Can you imagine them saying that in front of like the normal humans like you're an alpha you're gonna heal faster like wait he's a what Like, don't they have omegas? Like you're an omega. <laughs> he saved your life, babe. Why are you being so mean? Oh yeah, I forgot he was mad at him. One thing about this series that confused me is like, do all the alphas have a power, or is it certain alphas that have powers? Because like, if Babe knows Charlie is alpha, he would probably probably think that Charlie has a power, so Charlie could take care of himself. นี่ให้เบบมันหายทานจริงๆพี่ก็จะให้มันแข่งเหรอมึงจะบ้าเหรอถึงมันจะเป็นอัลฟาก็จริงแต่เจออุบัติเหตุหนักขนาดเนี้ยกูไม่คิดว่ามันจะหายทันลงแข่งซีซั่นนี้หรอกเรื่อยๆเฮี้ยเฮี้ยแบบนี้ทำไมต้องเกิดกับทีมเราด้วยวะเอาหน้าไม่มีใครอยากให้เกิดเรื่องแบบนี้ขึ้นหรอกแล้วนี่พี่คิดจริงเหรอว่าเรื่องนี้มันเป็นแค่อุบัติเหตุอะมึงจะหมายความว่าไงวะนับเป็นสปอนจ์บาฟไอ้สวร์ no BL can escape the sponge bath A BL to remix the SpongeBob. Like I want a BL where they like make fun of it somehow. <laughs> like <laughs> seriously. Like have a character be like, "This is not gonna help me at all. Like, why are you wiping my body? I need to get into the shower." ให้ตัวทำบรรยากาศเสียมาอีกแล้วอ่ะกูบอกมึงใช่ไหมว่ากูไม่อยากชนะด้วยวิธีนี้กู
Is the shorter guy? Is his power like super sh human strength or something? I really hope in the next few episodes they like let us know what the other guys, what their powers are, because I wouldn't know. I think that is like the most interesting part of this series, and of course the the men can get pregnant aspect as well, even though I don't think they're going to go into that. I really wish they would, because that would be so interesting. But I think they're just too scared to go that far. <laughs> It's like you already are doing the Alpha Omega thing. You might as well make one of the guys pregnant. It doesn't have to be the main couple. ไอ้เจมส์มึงทําอะไรกับรถของไอ้เบฟอ่ะผมเปล่าผมไม่ได้ทําอะไรคนอื่นเค้าก็เห็นกันทั้งสนามว่าที่ไอ้เบฟรถ
จเป็นครอบครัวคนเดียวที่ผมมีผมขอยืนยันว่าเจไม่มีส่วนรู้เห็นกับเรื่องรถความของพี่เบฟแน่นอนเป็นพี่น้องกันแล้วทำไมไม่บอกตั้งแต่แรกแบบนี้มันตั้งใจปกปิดนี่หว่าก็ถ้าผมบอกเป็นพี่น้องกับชาลีลุงก็จะมองว่าผมกักเขาใช้เส้นเข้าทีมนี้ใช่ไหมลุงก็คงจะดูถูกฝีมือไม่ยอมผมทดสอบฝีมือตั้งแต่แรกทั้งๆท,ที่ผมตั้งใจจะขอฝึกงานที่นี่เพราะอยากทำงานกับทีมเอ็กซันเตอร์จริงๆแล้วยังไงวะเป็นพี่น้องกันแล้วยังไงหลักฐานของไอ้ดีมันก็หนาแน่นขนาดนี้แล้วอะมึงจะปฏิเสธอะไรอีกหรือมึงก็ร่วมมือกับมันด้วยมีบางคนแอบดัดแปลงรถพี่เบ๊ะจริงๆแบบที่พวกพี่คิดนั่นแหละเพียงแค่คนนั้นไม่ใช่เจฟน่าจะเป็นคนนอกที่แอบเข้ามาในพิษมากกว่าเห็นแบบนี้แล้วอ่ะเจฟคงหลุดจากการเป็นผู้ต้องสงสัยใช่ไหมครับเจฟเดี๋ยวดิYou can't be that mad because it's Jeff. like you Jeff, are Jeff. a little suspicious. Jeff, <laughs> Jeff, เดี๋ยวก่อนดิ Jeff, ให้คนอื่นได้ขอโทษก่อนดิไม่เป็นไรครับให้ผมออกจากอู่ก็ถูกแล้วเพราะทุกคนไม่เชื่อใจผมผมคงทำงานต่อที่นี่ไม่ได้เฮ้ยเดี๋ยวดิแต่คลิปไอดีมันดูน่าสงสัยจริงๆนี่ว่าแล้วเกิดเรื่องกับเบฟขนาดเนี้ยทุกคนมันก็เลือดร้อนกันหมดรวมถึงฉันด้วยผมนึงกล่องอีซียูโอมาจูเฉยช่างที่ไหนก็ทําแบบนี้กันทั้งนั้นอ่ะพี่ดีนกับพี่เวก็แค่ไม่ชอบช่างอย่างผมเดี๋ยวฉันจะให้พวกมันมาขอโทษแกไปเอาตรงๆนะเจฟมันก็เป็นความผิดของพวกแกคนละครึ่งพี่ผ่านมาแกก็ทําตัวหน้าสงสัยเหมือนกันเข้ามาก็ทำตัวเงียบๆไม่สูงสิงอะไรกับใคร Exactly. And they didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. They didn't even do a background check on you. They just hired you. งั้นผมเป็นคนผิดใช่ไหมผมขอโทษแล้วกันมันไม่ใช่อย่างนั้นดิเจฟไม่เป็นไรครับมึงไม่ต้องพูดหรอกปัญหามันอยู่ที่ผมวันนี้ผมจะกลับไปพักก่อนเดี๋ยวผมจะกลับมาเคลียร์ของออกจากอูอีกทีเจฟเจฟเดี๋ยวดิเลิฟที่เขาใช้ the GPS to go home <laughs> that's so real <laughs> I feel like nowadays everybody has to like rely on GPS no matter where they're going like my sister she goes to these places over and over again yet she still uses the GPS to get there and I'm like you don't remember <laughs> ถ้าปวดหลังยังมาบนกันนะมึงพวกแข่งเสียทำไมไม่กลับไปนอนที่บ้านวะถ้ากูกลับไปนอนที่บ้านแล้วใครจะอยู่ดูแลมึงวะนี่กูอยู่ด้วยไม่ดีกว่าไงมันก็ดีแต่กูก็เกรงใจมึงบ่าไอ้เบบ
นี่มึงรู้จักกูมากี่ปีแล้วเนี่ยฮะถ้ามึงจะเกรงใจกูจริงเนี่ยมึงคิดได้นานแล้วปะเออก็จริงนะงั้นกูไม่เกรงใจมึงแล้วแล้วก็ช่วยมันนอดขายกูเถอะกวนตีแล้วมึงอะอุ้ยกูป่วยนะเว้ยแรงดีขนาดนี้พูดว่าเดี๋ยวว่าหายแล้วมั้งเออแล้วที่อู่เป็นไงบ้างเนี่ยก็หลายเรื่องว่ะนี่มึงรู้แล้วใช่ป่ะว่าไอชาลีเด็กมึงอะเป็นพี่ชายของไอเจฟอะฮะชาลีนะนี่มันก็ปิดบังเรื่องนี้กับมึงด้วยเหรอวะมันเพิ่งบอกคนที่อู่ว่ามันเป็นพี่น้องที่โตมาด้วยกันน่ะ He's like oh He's like that I had no reason to be so jealous Like literally ก็ไม่รู้นะตอนเนี้ยผมจะยังได้เป็นเด็กเบฟอยู่หรือเปล่าอ่ะยังอยู่ดีๆพี่ก็ไม่ต้องการผมขึ้นมาแต่ทั้งที่มันก็เป็นแค่เรื่องเข้าใจผิดเองอ่ะผมไม่ได้ทำอะไรผิดซะหน่อยยังเจ็บอยู่ออกแรงเยอะไม่ได้หรอกผมไม่ห่วงกูไม่จำเป็นต้องออกแรงเลยงั้นให้ผมออกแรงแทนก็ได้ครับมันก็แค่ชั่วคราวเหรอพี่แต่พี่ก็หายเชื่อผมอดทนหน่อยนะพี่ถ้าฝืนแล้วอย่ายิ่งแย่กูไม่ได้งุนหงิดที่ไม่ได้ลงแข่งแต่ประเด็นคือกูไม่อยากให้เลเลสซิ่งไม่ได้แชมป์อ่ะไม่เหมือนทีมเราโดนเหยียบหน้า The only thing about the series that I'm like still kind of surprised about is like the spiciness level is way lower than what I was assuming. I can't talk. Than what I thought it was gonna be. For some reason, I thought they were gonna like try to make this like him Porsche love in the air levels of like sexiness, but it's really not. And it's not that. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, anyway, but I'm like surprised because I thought that's what they were trying to do with this series, yeah, like make it like really that. like I don't know edgy is the word, but 
Like, the kissing scenes are still really good. Like, the kissing is great. Like, Pavel and Pooh have such, like, their chemistry is so good. <laughs> like, that's not an issue. But honestly, when I, like, as I watch this series, even though I really am enjoying it, there's something about it that I don't know that I feel like is missing. Like, there's something about it that I feel like is keeping it from being like the most like amazing BL ever. <laughs> like there's something about it that's just, I don't know, like I'm really enjoying it, but it's just not giving me the feels that like cer certain other BLs have given me. <laughs> but I'm not saying I hate it, I'm still enjoying it. But like when I watched like Love in the Air, I need to start reading it Love in the Air. I love the air is like the top. It just made my heart race. Love in the Air made me so happy. Like oh. Love in the Air gave me a visceral reaction when I was watching it. And like this, I'm enjoying it, but I'm not like I need to hurry up and watch the next episode, like, I'm not obsessed. Love in the Air, I was obsessed. <laughs> Another series that I was obsessed with, just so you guys can know my taste, is Fighting Mr. Second, which is a Taiwanese BL. I didn't react to it, but that was another one that gave me like a visceral reaction. I was obsessed with Fighting Mr. Second. Like that BL, just thinking about it just makes me like want to scream because I love it so much. And then also Game Boys. So you guys can see where my taste is. Like when, when I talk about my top BLs, like. <laughs> but yeah, this, this is still a good series so far, but I'm just like, something's missing. If anybody cares, my top five BLs, and I'm, I'm sure I'm going to forget one, Together, I don't care what nobody says, Together, <laughs> Fighting Mr. Second, Gay Boys, Love in the Air, um, what was the other one? I just said it and I forgot. Oh yeah. Um, don't say no. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. And I'm leaving out GMM BLs because like, that's like, I can have like five GMM BLs that are like my top. But those are my top, I guess, non-GMM TV BLs. But those are specifically those are the BLs that give me like a visceral reaction that make me like want to like scream in happiness. And also the one that I just watched this year from GMM. Oh, I can't think of the name. I'm like so mad I can't think of the name. รอบหน้าโครงแข่งไม่ได้ถ้าของคุณจะแก้เกมยังไงล่ะเบฟบาดเจ็บจะลงแข่งไม่ได้ I can hear the theme song in my head but I can't think of the name It's the one with Gawain and Chris Oh, I can't think of the name That is also a BL like I I would say that one is my top GMM BL like of all the GMM BLs I've ever watched Oh, what is the name? I have to look up the name I'm gonna have to pause and look up the name <laughs> Sorry, I'm gonna go one because I feel like people are gonna be like, you're not paying attention. Be my favorite. Be my favorite. <laughs>
Why are you throwing a whole orange? At least throw something like soft. <laughs> He threw that super hard. Why do you feel like this? The sense is gone. I don't think so. You just got out of here. I think if you get out of here, you get out of here. I think I'm going to get out of here. ผมค่อยๆกลับมาเองแหละนะฮะนี่มึงจะบอกว่าเซนมึงหายไปหมดเลยเหรอใช่ทั้งการมองเห็นเสียงหรือแม้แต่ตอนนี้ผมแยกกลิ่นอัลฟาไม่ออกด้วยซ้ำ so is he like normal human now แต่พี่อย่าไปบอกไอ้เวเรื่องที่เซนโมไม้นะผมอยากให้ช่วงนี้มันโฟกัสเรื่องแข่งมากกว่าเออโอเคพี่เบฟพี่มาทันเวลาผมทำอาหารเสร็จพอดีเลย Charlie is so attentive to babe it's really adorable พี่เบฟ It's too bad we're not gonna get <laughs> a pregnant babe. <laughs> Charlie would be extra sweet. And it would be so cute. But I know we're not gonna get that. And it's like they don't even have to. <laughs> if they were to do that, like make one of the guys pregnant, literally don't even have to like show us stomach or nothing. Just like say they're pregnant, fast forward until they have the baby, and then after the baby is like I don't know a month or two old, then show them. Like you don't have to show any pregnant stomach or a birthing scene or anything like that. Their stomach could literally stay flat. Just say that they're pregnant. That's all I want. <laughs> มันไม่ง่ายเหมือนที่มึงไปซ้อมกับกูที่สนามนะเวชาลีถึงผมจะไม่ได้แชมป์อะแต่ผมอะก็ไม่ยอมให้พวกเลเลซิ่งมันได้แชมป์มันง่ายๆเหมือนกันก็ได้ถ้ามึงจะลงแข่งแทนกูเนี่ยมึงต้องซ้อมหนักกว่าเดิมสิบเท่า When did Charlie like has Charlie always raced like I'm so confused like that's the thing about this series. It holds, like, there's a lot of information that they sure. keep secret, which stories do that on purpose so that you can gradually find out, sure. like, what's going on. Sure. But sometimes you gotta let us know, like, details, or we're gonna be so confused. Like, when did Charlie well, be a, become a racer? Like, <laughs> like, did he in? Like racing as a kid? Did he like? Did he admire? I mean, I, I know in the first episode he like bumped into Babe because he said he admired him or whatever. His name is Sonic, but he can't win a race. Why am I making content? Then if you don't take two of them, you will lose. Charlie, hey babe, this you can't see, boy. The best in the team, we have a lot of them. If you choose who to be your partner, you're a person in the team, right? If you choose who to be your partner, you should be the person who is in the same level as you. Really, I believe in you, Dean. แต่มันคงจะดีกว่าถ้าทีมเรามีตัวเลือกให้มากขึ้นกว่านี้พี่รันว่าไง I'd be like first of all how do you know he's on your level second of all how long okay. has he even raced 
third of all, how is this even fair? He literally, you just met him like, like a week ago. <laughs> I would be pissed if I were on their team and I wanted to race. <laughs> but then Babe's like, no, my man is gonna race. มึงสั่นขนาดนั้นน่ะมึงคุมพวงมาลัยไว้เหรอผมขอโทษครับผมกลัวจะทําพลาดอ่ะที่สําคัญผมกลัวทําให้พี่ผิดหวังชาลีม
like some of the scenes I feel like were unnecessary. Um, but at least we learned that Jeff is Charlie's brother. But even if he wasn't Charlie's brother, it's like he, uh, Charlie obviously did not want to. He doesn't want to be with Jeff. He's like, um, Babe being so jealous was really dramatic. <laughs> I, I'm sorry I keep rubbing my eye. I literally just got off work and my job is um I stare at a computer for eight hours and now I've been staring at this computer for like three hours. <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of cute moments with Charlie and Babe. Now that they're back together, Babe trusts Charlie, I guess. I just find Charlie so adorable. I, I just, maybe it's just the actor, Pooh. He was just so cute to me. I just, <laughs> he's just so cute to me. I just love wa like watching him. I don't even care. Like, to be honest, I find Charlie, even though he's adorable, I wish there was more to him. His personality is basically, I'm in love with Babe. That's his personality. I do wish there was more to him than just wanting to be with Babe, because he's so attentive and caring. And it's like, Babe, it's not as, like, Babe isn't like that, which is, a, I guess, a cool dynamic. But it's like, come on, Charlie, can you, like... What about you? Like, yeah, you can love Babe, but can you, like, love yourself a little bit? <laughs> We're finally gonna get the side couple, I guess. The older guy with Jeff. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I'm excited to see how that happens, but it's like... I don't know. Like, I gotta, I gotta see it before I can really make a judgment, but I'm, like, I'm ready to see that. I thought that this series was gonna have way more side couples, but so far, we really haven't gotten any, like side couples it's really just been babe and charlie which i'm kind of surprised about i thought there was going to be like more since this is such a big cast of characters but yeah i mean i still have like four more episodes to catch up on so we don't know what's going to happen but <laughs> we'll see if you want to watch the full uncut version that'll be on my patreon with other bls and gls uh, let me know what you think don't forget to comment like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.